Friday Nightmare. Speaking of the Ghostbusters, Peter Venkman just fell down right here behind me out of nowhere while we were filming this. Hello and welcome, thank you for clicking on the video. What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna be giving you a tour of my office here. We're gonna go front to back, wall to wall, and I'm gonna show you guys everything in here. You see me shoot a lot of videos back here, but I've never really gone around and showed you how the office is set up. Shout outs to AJ Good over at the House of Masks who suggested that I do this video. He is a fellow YouTuber, fellow collector, and he has an incredible mask collection. If you guys are interested in awesome mask uh, or collector content, go check out the House of Masks. Shout outs to AJ Good. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys my collection along with my collection. I'm just gonna show you everything in the office here. I've done a collection video in the past. Everything was set up entirely different. Some new stuff is here, some old stuff is gone. Things have changed a lot. So we're just gonna go around the office here and I'll show you guys pretty much everything that I have going on in here. I'm gonna tell you about everything, pretty much everything that you can see. Yeah, we're in for a long ride, but we're gonna go around and look at everything one by one. All the equipment, all the toys, all the action figures. I've been collecting action figures for a long time now. And this is actually the second collection. I had a whole collection before that I sold off and then ended up getting back into it. Yeah, collecting things has just kind of always been part of who I am. Ever since I was a kid, I've collected things. And in this collection, you will actually see some things that I had uh, from my own actual childhood that uh, have been preserved through time and have made it all the way here and are now permanent parts of my collection. Most of the stuff that you see has been acquired after, but I do still have a lot of stuff from my very own childhood. And I bet you some of you guys out there watching had some of this stuff too. So I think you're gonna enjoy this video, man. I'm excited to make it for you. These are crazy trying times we are living through right now. I hope everybody watching is staying safe, sane, and healthy. And I'm here to provide you a little bit of entertainment. And while we're stuck at the house, I'm gonna continue to make videos for you guys. And most importantly, keeping in contact with this amazing family that we built here on this channel. So that's what I'm gonna strive to do. So I know this is a little different from uh, the normal fishing content, but a lot of people have asked to see this video. I ran a poll on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, do that. I ran a poll on my Instagram and asked my followers if they would want to see a video on the action figure collection and an office walkthrough. And it was overwhelming, yes. And like I said, the homie AJ Good over at the House of Masks has been on me to make this video. We had a little interaction and, and seeing someone like that was such an incredible, uh, epic collection. Like he has uh, even be interested to see my small little modest action figure collection here. It was cool, man. So that, that, that definitely inspired me to make this video, to make an updated collection video. I'm also going to show you guys the artwork, the instruments on the walls, and, you know, stuff that I have sitting around on the shelves. Some stuff that I didn't do in the last video. The last video was all about action figures. This video is going to be about the full office, everything. Yeah, uh, we will talk a lot about action figures because there are a lot of them in here. But we're going to go over pretty much everything. We think, what else do I need to say? I need to talk about stuff. Uh, I got to be careful here on YouTube, you know, um, and I got to just say right here, this content is not made for children. These are not toys. These aren't dolls. These are action figures, bro. It's a freaking adult collection, okay? These are collectibles. These are horror themed collectibles and not suited for ages under, you know, kid age, you know? Just keep that in mind. This is not a video for kids. I'm putting that out there right now. I don't want to get in trouble over here on YouTube. I ain't making no kid content. I just want to show all my other big kid friends who are now in their 30s my awesome toy collection. Oh man, yeah, well, they're probably gonna delete my channel. Yeah, it is what it is, man. We're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys the office. Yeah, my collection primarily consists of a mix between like 80s and 90s vintage old school action figures and then a bunch of new stuff from companies like NECA, Maddie Collector. So that's the kind of stuff you're gonna see. I also collect a mixture of loose and carded figures, which means some of my stuff is still in the package, some of it is open. That's how I like to display my stuff. I think the mix just makes for an awesome look here in the office. And uh, yeah, you'll see what I mean when I get into it. Some of the stuff's still gonna be in the package. It's gonna be mixed up, loose, new and old. Pretty much just an amalgam of all the cool toys that I played with when I was a kid and then a bunch of cool new horror stuff, Ghostbusters stuff, you know, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Friday Nightmare, uh, Friday Nightmare. Speaking of the Ghostbusters, Peter Venkman just fell down right here behind me out of nowhere while we were filming this along with a gremlin. That's to give you an idea of the kind of stuff we're gonna see. I'm gonna go pick up these action figures and then we'll get this office tour started, man. I've been rambling at you guys enough. Let's get right off into this thing. What are you doing, dude? Be chill. What are you doing, Be? We're good. Okay, so my idea here was just to start as we're coming in the door and we're gonna go wall by wall, just like this right here. We'll talk about this wall first and then we'll go around the room, talk about everything that you see in here right now. 
including my little Casper lamp. All right, so on the first wall here, we're just gonna start up here with the wall art. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2. It's Vigo the Carpathian from Ghostbusters 2. And of course, the original Ghostbusters logo there. I also have a PRS guitar hanging up. I play guitar, I have three guitars. The other two are in the closet. Probably won't bust them out in this video, but if you guys are interested in seeing a video on all of my guitars, if you guys are interested in seeing me post a video of me maybe playing some guitar music for you guys, let me know down in the comments. That's something I might be able to make happen. I have done guitar videos in the past. This is a fishing channel, but right now under these certain circumstances, we need to muster all the content that we possibly can. And playing guitar might be something cool, might be something some of you guys wanna see. If you do, let me know. That there is just a picture of a beautiful plant. Like I said, this video is not for kids. I'll start up here on this top shelf and then we'll get down here to all these awesome action figures. Over here on the top shelf, I just keep a few special books from my own personal childhood. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Super scary stories for sleepovers. Reptiles, this book right here, super special to me. I read this book probably a thousand times when I was a kid. Love reptiles, always have. The chickens are restless, man. You guys remember the Far Side Collection from Gary Larson. Also, this book right here, this is where I write down my goals. <clears throat> Super important to write down your goals. Keep your goals in a notebook, write them down so you can see them, read them. I noticed that ever since I started doing that, writing down my goals, um, yeah, stuff started happening a lot more and it keeps, your, keeps you in focus, uh, keeps things that you really want to happen in line. And yeah, I think writing down your goals and keeping them where you can see them and read them close by is a, a, a good strategy. This is another one of my baseball caps, man. Shout out to Cottonmouth Bass. People are always asking me about this hat and where they can get this hat. You can get this hat, Cottonmouth Bass on Instagram. Check them out. Just a little remote for the TV. Go ahead and pop that on. A little Roku TV action over there. A couple GoPro mounts, chest mount for the GoPro. A couple GoPros, some Canon lenses here and some Shimano fishing reel boxes. Let's talk about the lenses. This is a Nifty 50 fixed 50 millimeter lens. Come on, Cooper, you wanna come in? Come on, buddy. Yeah, you can be in here. This is just your standard 18 to 55 lens that will come with your, uh, most your Canon or Nikon cameras when you get them. Just all around banger. I normally don't ever even pick this one up. But this guy, I will use this for, uh, you know, anytime I gotta, gotta zoom on in, you know? The 55 to 250, 55, 250. And uh, yeah, it'll get on out there. I can shoot uh, shots out the window with this. Like if I see like a squirrel or a bird outside, I can grab this, pick it up, and shoot a little shot real quick. Yeah, those are just a few of the lenses that I have on deck. The lens that I'm shooting right now on is a 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens and that is what you are looking through right now that's the top shelf now we're just gonna go I guess shelf by shelf all the way down this beast huh we'll start at the top left where like I said man you're just gonna see a mixture of a bunch of stuff most of these up here are vintage pieces from like the, the late 80s early 90s a couple of those items back there are actually newer and this of course is from the real Ghostbusters got some Hot Wheels over here Dino Riders you guys remember Dino Riders the orange and purple guy back there are from the real Ghostbusters. Toys from Kenner, which I have a lot of. You guys are going to see a lot of that in this collection. Anybody remember the Fraggle? The Fraggle Racers, man. The Fraggle Rock Riders back there from McDonald's. I think those are McDonald's toys. A little Mouser from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Some Kenner Beetlejuice. Also, these right here, Monster in My Pocket. I was a huge fan of Monster in My Pockets. Anybody else out there remember those? Super awesome toys there. These right here are from a board game called Hero Quest that I had uh, back when I was a kid. My parents got it for me for Christmas. I love that game. And these dudes right here, I've gone out and collected them. Stacked up a nice little minion of sk skull reapers, skeleton reapers, whatever you want to call them, from that Hero Quest board game. This dude right here, Scumbug from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then of course Orko back there from Masters of the Universe. There's a little Kenner Predator back there hiding. This dude right here, Wolfman from Real Ghostbusters. And then there's a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff that we're about to get into, and I don't know everybody's names, but you guys will recognize a lot of these guys. I know most of them, and I'm sure there's somebody out there who can name every one of these pieces, but I'm not gonna go through and name everything. You guys can see what's here. All this stuff like this, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All this stuff right here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You guys know the deal. That's the Rat King right there. Shout out to Theo Vaughn. Ecto-3 from the Real Ghostbusters back there in the back. And that dude right there, does anybody know what that's from? Go down in the comments right now if you know what that's from. All right, moving on down, next shelf, also all Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here we go, here we go. Got some carded figures back there in the back. That's the classic collection, all the four original turtles, Leo, Raph, Michelangelo, Donatello, and then all these loose figures here, man. I'll point out some of my favorites along the way. Krang back there is awesome. Had this dude when I was a kid, loved this one. 
this one metalhead shoot man all of them how can you pick a favorite this one i had this one when i was a kid played with that all the time when i was a kid had a bunch of these when i was a kid gone back and rebuilt the collection as an adult pretty crazy moving on down to the next shelf we're getting into the batman era the keaton era the batman shelf all michael keaton batman uh yeah michael keaton is the only batman that's the batman that i grew up with the one that came out in 89 and that was uh that was the times man these are the toys that i played with back when i was a kid Especially this right here, the Batwing, the old original Batwing. Die cast metal, such an awesome toy, man. They don't make them like this anymore, dude. Probably because you could stab your eyes out with this like in 20 or 30 different ways, fling it across the room and stick it into your cousin's skull. But dude, such an awesome toy. And then uh, right here, man, my little collection of Batmobiles going down the line. I actually should go this way probably. But just going along there, looking at all the different Batmobiles. These here, the Hot Wheel style. In the back, I have some carded Kenner Batman action figures that are original, unopened. This one I had when I was a kid. This one I had when I was a kid. So stuff is super cool to go back and get again. I also had this little pack when I was a kid. So yeah, man, to find this stuff uh, out there in the wild again as an adult. These are case fresh, unpunched, never been put on a peg. Straight out of the factory shipping box. Uh, opened up recently by a collector and then sold and shipped to me within the past couple years. So that's cool. This right here was a piece that I found in the wild here in Austin. And yeah, super lucky to find that sitting out there. Little Batman and Joker two pack. Hard to find those. And now we'll move on to the last shelf. The last shelf is all Ghostbusters. I'm a big Ghostbusters fan. And these are my Maddie Collector Ghostbusters. I'll pull a couple of these off the shelf right here and show them to you. This one right here with the library ghost, Egon. Awesome artwork on these, incredible. Also, if you look, one of these has a mistake. This one here, it's from the original Ghostbusters, Peter Venkman in the original commercial outfit where they did their first commercial in the first movie. Also, it says Ghostbusters 2 though. It says Ghostbusters 2 on the box and then it has a Ghostbusters 1 logo up top. As you can see on the ones that are actually from Ghostbusters 2, they also say Ghostbusters 2, but the ghost up top is holding up a 2. So yeah, this one's just like a little weird one-off. For some reason, they put it in a Ghostbusters 1 box, but printed Ghostbusters 2 on there. But anyways, so that's just one little strange packaging error. And there's a Vigo down there. I'm a big Vigo fan. You guys will see more Vigo throughout this collection. Now moving on, moving on over here into this corner. Okay, so let me just get something out of the way right now. You guys are going to see a little bit of dust in this video. I went around and did the best I could, and I always do, but I live out here in the country, man. I, I swear, I could dust this whole shelf, and then a week I'll come back in here and there will be dust on things. So it's just a constant process to keep this stuff clean, and I hope you guys will understand that, yes, there will be dust in parts of this collection, but I promise you, I'll wipe this stuff down and keep it as clean as I possibly can. But living out here in the sticks, man, things just get dusty. And uh, yeah, it's time consuming to take this all down and clean it. But for the most part, we do pretty good. All the main stuff, pretty dust free. But over here in the corner, like I said, I just cleaned this. I mean, I just cleaned this. I already got dust on it, man. Living out in the woods, it is what it is. I'm sure some of you guys are wondering what this is, why I don't have any toys on this shelf over here. Well, we can't put things on top of this because somebody lives in there. Some of you guys may not know, but I got one of these bad boys. Flip the water bowl, bowl over, but... Yeah, uh, something a lot of you guys may not know is I've been keeping reptiles for years and years. And while I don't have many anymore, I do still have this one right here. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I've been into reptiles since I was a kid and now is no different. Still love them. This is my last dude right here. Snake doesn't really have a name. Uh, it eats rats and lives in a box. Cold blooded, doesn't do much, but yeah, I love snakes and I've always loved reptile keeping. And ever since I was a kid, I would try to keep snakes and you know, do the whole reptile thing. Like I mentioned about the book earlier, it's just something that I've always loved, always been into ever since I was a kid, and now is no different. I think this is a beautiful animal. To anybody out there who doesn't like snakes or was wondering like, no, the snake has never once even struck or acted like it wanted to bite at me. These snakes are so tame, so docile, so nice. It's never once acted like it wanted to be aggressive toward me, never done anything to try and hurt me ever, even when I provoke it, which is literally never, but I mean, like even when I stick my hand in there, when it's hungry never but yeah that's my snake thought i'd show you guys that's what's in the box over here in the corner so if you guys ever saw that sitting over there with nothing on it and wondered what was going on that's what was going on all right gotta go back in your home go in your home Are you too good for your home what are we gonna do dang dude just got me bro oh no nah, man all that talk about not trying to hurt me now you got me all right i gotta get the snake off me i'll be right back
Shout out to the Tiger King. You guys watching Tiger King? Woo, dude. Me and the wife binged it in like a day. All right, so now let's move on to this little section right here. I have a couple of display cases here with some larger pieces inside. You can see here, uh, Mr. Stay Puff and Slimer chilling. You can also see Ed 209 from Robocop. This thing actually talks and make, makes noise. I'm not gonna get it out and show you, but it's a really awesome. It's actually a pretty big toy. I don't know if you guys can tell how big it is. And he's sitting next to this Rob, NES Rob. You guys remember this? Anybody have this? This is a robot that played Nintendo with you. Futuristic shit from back in the day. And then sitting on top of these display cases, I have an Axe FX2 from Fractal Audio. This is what I play guitar through. A couple Godzillas up here sitting with the King of Darkness from the movie Legend with Tom Cruise. The Axe FX is also what I use to run all of my office audio, all of my computer audio. I'm running that through KRK Rocket 5 powered studio monitors. I edit on an iMac computer and I use this crazy looking chair to sit in while I do it. I have a couple different keyboards that I use. Apple mouse and keyboard down here. I also have this mechanical keyboard that uh, I use sometimes when I'm typing a lot. There's my dog down there asleep on the floor. Kuda, what are you doing? Hey! This cable you see is the power cable for the light that I'm moving around so I can film this video for you guys. Lighting is super important when you're shooting videos. A lot of people overlook it and I'm still not very good at it. And part of that is because of the light that I'm using. It's a non-dimmable, newer ring light that I ordered when I didn't know what I was doing, when I knew even less about lighting. I ordered this and so I used this uh, pillowcase to soften the light, gets the job done. And as you can see, it provides a nice soft light for when I'm shooting in here. External hard drives, extra outlets, another hard drive. These are the remotes for the RGB LEDs that you see around the room. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for these first two walls right here. Oh, how could we forget about the dude? The dude! Yeah, also have this Big Lebowski artwork hanging over here because, yeah, the dude. And of course, a couple terror dogs on top of the studio monitors. These dudes, also from the Ghostbusters. These are made by Diamond Select. These are Diamond Select terror dogs. I have a lot of Diamond Select Ghostbusters toys in here as well these are pretty rad okay moving on to the next section and to the wall that i'm sure a lot of you want to see the most this one has the most action figures stacked up over here the most going on this is where the majority of the collection now sits start off with some wall art this is that old school rick and morty psychedelic goodness i ordered this specifically for this office when i moved in here and needed some stuff to decorate I was out there ordering artwork rick and morty was popping at the time so Got this Rick and Morty poster to go along with all the other artwork that you see in the room. Oh, I also forgot to mention Top Gun. Man, I also forgot to mention Top Gun. I also have this Top Gun poster over here. I'm a huge fan of Top Gun, man. Aviation, been a big part of my life. Always loved that movie ever since I was a kid. So yeah, I wanted to go back, double back, mention the Top Gun poster because yeah, like I said, I've never done a full office tour before. And some of the stuff I might end up forgetting about having to go back. There's a tripod you guys see the camera sitting on all the time I'm sitting here at the desk filming videos for you guys. But moving on to the big bulk of the collection now. Rick and Morty, there's a little painting that I did a long time ago. I have this huge psychedelic Rafiki blanket. This is from, I have to think of the name, something Threads. I can't remember the company that made this, but my Rafiki blanket is probably the coolest piece of art in the whole room. Love this thing. And then I have most of the collection sitting right here in front of it. So let's just go left to right, top to bottom. Woohoo! a lot of stuff here. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if I can tell you guys everything that's here, man. Obviously, these are. I feel like it's obvious to me, but it may not be obvious to some of you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and just point out everything that I can. This is a NECA Gremlin figure, Mohawk from Gremlins 2. This is a Kenner Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from the original Ghostbusters back in the 80s. This is a NECA Alien, the Warrior Alien. This is a modern toy, new. You can get these at places like Target now. I also have another one back there. That's the Scorpion Alien hiding back there. I don't know how well you guys can see him, but that's the larger version of a toy I had when I was a kid, which is right here. It's an actual toy from my childhood, the Scorpion Alien. And this is the new updated NECA version of that same toy. There you guys probably get a much better look at that guy now. He's sitting back there, looks just like this dude right here, only new and modern and bigger. Moving up here to the front, this is uh, another NECA Gremlin. That's Gizmo from the original Gremlins. And this right here is called Rage. Rage, the werewolf, the apocalyptic trading card game. And I had this when I was a kid. Had to go out and buy it again as an adult collector. Loved that card game. Sitting around in fifth grade, passing time in class, playing this with my friend Rance, who is no longer with us, rest in peace, Rance. But yeah, crazy. Memories come flooding back when you see stuff like that. Things from your childhood, and that is why I love collecting things from when I was a kid. Moving on, we got some more Ghostbusters stuff. There's a Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger right there, sitting in front of Peter Venkman. That's another Maddie Collector piece. 
Also have another gremlin hiding back there. You can see that's the video game 8-bit version from NECA. He's got a little machine gun in his hand. There is the crow figure from, let's see, who made that crow figure? That's uh, McFarlane. I believe that was McFarlane. Yeah, that's a Todd McFarlane piece back there. There's a Diamond Select Gozer from Ghostbusters 1. There's some more Diamond Select Ghostbusters figures there. Ray, Peter, Peter. Egon, uh, and there's Ray from Ghostbusters 2. This is probably my favorite Diamond Select Ghostbusters figure because it comes with the Vigo head, as you can see that mean Vigo head in there looking crazy. Some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles limited edition trading cards along with an original striped Gremlins figure from the 80s. Some more Ghostbusters Diamond Select stuff. Vince Glortho, Keymaster of Gozer, AKA Lewis Tully, standing there in front of, of course, Vigo the Carpathian. Then. Back there in the back. Most of my Freddy Krueger pieces are gonna start right here. And then you'll see them go along back there. You'll see what we got going on. Some more loose Kenner Ghostbusters there with another Gizmo, the combat Gizmo. There's another Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. And up here on top, we have Chucky from Child's Play in the box with a Voltron, a Ghostbusters vehicle, and some more limited edition Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trading cards still in the package. All right, now moving on up here. These are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the movie that came out in the 90s. These are probably some of my favorite figures, some of my most accurate figures. NECA absolutely killed it. These are the seven inch version. You could get these at GameStop. I'm not sure if they're still available or not. And then behind them, you got a NECA Gremlin. You got Pennywise from Stephen King's It, and you have some more of those original Kenner aliens from the 90s. Up here on the wall, Maddie Collector, Masters of the Universe, Intergalactic Skeletor, and the unnamed one with a Battle Cat sitting up on top. This is an original Battle Cat. From Masters of the Universe toy line. One of my favorite pieces in my entire collection, for sure. Now let's move on across this top shelf and look at some more awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys from NECA. These are the cartoon version. They came out with a cartoon version and they absolutely nailed it on those as well. As you can see, Michelangelo, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello all looking exactly like they did back in the day in that original cartoon. Such an awesome line. Egon over here trying to knock people down. I got a couple original Kenner Egons back there with their proton packs. Egon Spangler from the Ghostbusters. Standing in front of two menacing looking Predator figures. That's the Predator from Predator 1 and Predator 2. I still have the box for them. You'll see a lot of the boxes down here on the bottom of the shelf later. And then behind the Predators lies Mr. Voorhees. I always keep Jason back there on the back. I have four loose Friday the 13th Jason figures back there. As you can see, they're all posed differently, all ready to and while we're back here, let's go ahead and roll across the back nice and slow, give you guys an up-close and personal look at all of these Freddies and Jasons. I feel like Freddy and Jason were always synonymous. You know, not to upset anybody, all the Halloween fans out there. I know AJ Good is a huge Halloween fan, but for me, Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street were always the two that stood out to me. And then what did they end up doing? Freddy versus Jason. Super cool for a fan like me. So there's an up-close look at all of those figures back there on the back row. Nightmare on Elm Street has to take the cake for me. Freddy Krueger, by far the most horrifying villain that I ever watched when I was a kid. Scared me the most. The thought of having somebody come after me in my dreams, absolutely terrifying. I still have nightmares. All right, so moving on, moving on. All right, back here, this back corner, we got a NECA RoboCop. It's like a part RoboCop, part Terminator thing that they came out with. This right here, also another one of my favorite pieces in the entire collection. This is an original Ed 209 cap gun toy from back in the day. It actually shoots caps. You put caps in there, it'll pop caps. Oh, 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 there goes Vankman. <sighs> Another annoying thing about uh, having a toy collection is they're like dominoes, man. If one falls, they all fall. It's over with, dude. So you have to do things like this, film videos and dust with extreme caution. And I just dusted this and it's already, like I said, yeah. Uh, yeah, some loose Robocops up here. Shout out to Robocop. Shout out to Ed209. You have 10 seconds to comply. Here's the NECA cartoon Krang from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to go along with the Shredder. I think this is probably the coolest figure that they did out of that line it's uh it's so accurate and uh yeah awesome shredder they killed it with the shredder on that one these figures of course go along with these guys right here all right i think that's the top shelf is there anything i forgot on the top shelf well, roll over here to the wall art love beetlejuice still love beetlejuice i'm actually wearing a beetlejuice shirt right now i named my bass boat beetlejuice so yeah man it's an awesome piece from the 90s original kenner above it we got the Savage Mondo Blitzers. I had this exact pack when I was a kid. Love these things. 
and yeah, Mondo Blitzers, dude. If anybody remembers those, shout outs to you. Such an awesome set of toys from back in the day. I remember going and picking these up. My grandfather taking me to the store, me and my brother picking out our packs of these. We each picked one. This is the pack that I picked. I remember because of this guy right here. Super special, man. Super special set of toys right there. Above that, we got an Orko, Maddie Collector, Masters of the Universe, and then an original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Scumbug still on the card. Here's an original Wolfman from the real Ghostbusters still on card. Here's some Anniversary Edition Aliens versus Predator figures. And then this right here and this right here are original Kenner Aliens figures from the 90s. The Bull Alien and the Queen Alien still in the package. And that is the, uh, the upper portion of the largest part of my action figure collection. Still have a lot more to go down here though if you guys want to see everything. If you're still watching the video, shout outs to you. Thank you so much for not clicking off. Like I said, I do plan on showing you guys absolutely everything that you see in my office. So this will end up being a longer video. I appreciate you guys riding it out with me and trying to get through this stuff as fast as I can. But I want to show you everything, man. Show you every single piece that I own. That's what we're doing. Down here, some more Kenners, the real Ghostbusters figures. You guys will recognize some of these maybe from back in the day when you were a kid. These right here are some Ghostbusters figures that Mattel came out with. And then along here, some more. The real Ghostbusters from back in the day. Those OG figures. And then there's a little Ecto-1. Uh, I can't remember. I think that's a, actually like a pop figure. Now we're going to get into some of the more valuable stuff in my collection. These are all of my original The Real Ghostbusters carded figures. I'll just go through here and show you. Here's another Wolfman. Screaming Heroes Ray. Screaming Heroes Ray. This one's like mint. Screaming Heroes Vankman. I mean, it's just, it's almost perfect. Screaming Heroes Egon, straight out of the case. These right here, worth a lot right now. These are the Ecto Glow, and they're worth a pretty penny right now. These are probably my favorite figures that I have on card. Some of my most valuable pieces for sure. And I keep them right here next to my most sentimental pieces. Let's talk about these. So these are Ringling Brother Barnum and Bailey Circus. Bengal Tiger flashlights and I actually had one of these when I was a kid and I would leave it laying around in the yard and my dad told me a bunch of times he told me told me many times you better quit leaving your toys in the yard or I'm gonna run them over with a lawnmower and uh, I just never listened I was a hard-headed kid that never learned my lesson and I remember one time I left this out in the yard and my dad ran it over with a lawnmower just like he said he was gonna if I didn't start picking up my toys that taught me a valuable lesson but later on, when I became an adult collector, I went back and I bought this. And this is actually the first piece that I bought that set off what you see here and got me back into collecting. Man, the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. Shout out to my old man. Tough lessons learned. We got two now that we're an adult, so it's okay. I went back out and got myself two of these bad boys. Probably, uh, yeah, some of the most sentimental pieces in the collection. Keep them right here by these expensive Ghostbusters. Now we're getting we're getting through this thing. Now, guys, we're getting on we're getting on towards the end. And most of what you see down here is going to be boxes for the figures on the top shelf or boxes with figures still in them. I'm gonna go through here and show you a few of these right now. Some of the stuff I know is empty, but some of the stuff that I know has figures in it, I'll grab, we'll start off right here on this shelf. These It figures, Pennywise, he's still in there. Woo, looking gnarly. Got another one. Super awesome figures, man. No real room for these guys up top, so they sit down here on the shelf. I love these Godzilla boxes. That's one thing about the NECA figures, man. You get the, the boxes themselves are artwork. You get some really awesome looking stuff with these NECA figures, and I love displaying these Godzilla boxes. Some of my favorite pieces in my collection for sure. Some other stuff over here. As far as the rest of this stuff goes, most of it is open. You saw, you saw these guys up there on the top shelf, but this guy's still in the box. Looking pretty gremlin-y. Might have to crack these open one day. If you guys are interested in seeing a video where I crack open some toys, let me know, man. I could do that. I used to do this thing called Toys and Tackle, where I opened up fishing tackle and toys in the same video. Ended up scrapping that series, but we could bring it back now that we're locked down here at the house. Stuck here doing nothing. I'm trying to make as much content as I can for you guys. All right, one more of these toys I'm going to show you. This right here. This is the Friday the 13th NES, the video game version of Jason. Check it out, it plays music. Some music from the video game. Isn't that cool? Video game Jason, playing the 8-bit music through the box. That's one of the ones I'll never open. I also have video game Freddy. 
pretty cool, huh? These ain't dolls, all right? These are action figures, but I do have one, I guess, technical. Technically, I do have one doll here. It's the dude from the Big Lebowski from my friend Camby. He gave this to me as a gift, and I will cherish it for always. Yeah, the dude. It's not a, it's not a freaking doll, dude. It's an action figure. But that one, actually, probably, probably a doll. All right. And then, rounding out this corner over here, I have a Silent Bob from Mallrats. I loved this movie back in the day. Ended up snagging this figure somewhere it was on sale. Eh, pretty cool. Shout out to Kevin Smith. He lost all that weight. Now he's a skinny dude. Doesn't look like that anymore, so it's cool. They're over here just hanging out in the corner. Over here in this corner, I have a St. Croix Mojo Bass fiberglass cranking rod. Speaking of, if you guys are interested in seeing a full rod and reel arsenal video, stay tuned because I'm about to shoot that right now. Show you guys every single rod and reel that I own front to back, good and bad. I'm talking new and old, every single combo in my garage. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in seeing that. The fishing content will remain flowing. So don't go anywhere just because I'm posting a collection video. This is my office tour. People have been asking for this, so we're going to do it. And I promise you more fishing content will be coming really soon. That right there is the big crankster from St. Croix. Throw him over here and show you guys this Jamaican medicine man stick that my mom brought back from Jamaica for me when I was a kid. Pretty freaking cool. A little beat up. I was rough on it. Got it when I was a little kid, but still have it to this day. Love it. Shout out to my mom. Love you, mom. She's at home riding it out like the rest of us. And yeah, keep this in here always. It's one of the few things that I keep around that always reminds me of my mom. And then down here on the bottom down there, Let's take a look at these real quick. So these right here are actually items from my childhood. These are my personal possessions from when I was a kid. All my Hot Wheels and all of my micro machines. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember micro machines and Hot Wheels from back in the day. I'm sure many of you had these same little toys right here. And yeah, these right here, I'm gonna pull out just a couple, a couple. I mean, that go back to when I was extremely young. So these vehicles right here that you're looking at, these, these right here, yeah, dude. And I had these when I was probably, you know, toddler age. This is the only Batmobile that doesn't go over there on the shelf with the rest of the Batman because this is my actual Batmobile. This was mine. So I keep it over here with the rest of these. These right here, John Deere Green, man. We grew up in the country. I'm a country boy, don't get it twisted. That right there, man. I got pictures of me as a kid and a toddler with my grandpa holding me when I was just a little baby boy. Carrying around my John Deere Hot Wheels. Good times, man. I want to show that to you guys. Some super special, super special items from my childhood that will never go anywhere. Prize possessions right there, man. The Hot Wheels and the Micro Machines. And really, I think that's gonna do it for that wall. I mean. That's the stuff, that's that's it, dude. That's everything, you guys have seen the real deal, the whole deal, the real deal, holy field. Let's move on over here, man. We'll round this video out and go ahead and finish it off with probably the easiest wall to go over. So as you guys can see, this is just the TV wall, man. So we got a little 55 inch flat screen Roku TV, some select, specially selected toys. These are also really old Hot Wheels pieces from my childhood. Had these when I was really little. I have a picture of this car right here in my hand with my grandfather holding me when I was just probably like two years old three years old some more Kenner Ghostbusters figures right here these Egon's you see the ties are on them why does that matter well because you can't really find them with the ties on there much anymore most of them are broken they're super delicate little tiny pieces of plastic from the 80s and I have two the ties still intact there behind him the library ghost from the original Ghostbusters movie and of course mr. Slimer these are a couple of TV stands that I have my TV sitting on and uh, pretty much just uh, junk drawers in here, you know, random stuff, a couple knives and random patches and video games and whatnot. Nothing really interesting. Some guitar strings and cables, crap like that in those drawers. Also charging cables and drone accessories down here on the bottom. This safe right here actually is empty. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Oh, what are these? These right here, man. Some of you guys may know what these are. These are called CDs. Compact discs, this is what we used to do music back in the day. CDs, man, that's how we used to have to get down. Over here, just another TV stand with some more books down there on the bottom. Down here on this shelf, I just have a few books. You guys can pause the video if you're interested in seeing more about the titles. There's just some of the, some of the books that I've read. There's some more down here. There's my pretty pit bull boy, my pretty pit bull doggy. 
That's my man, Cooter Bug. Ain't that right? That's a man, Cooper. That's a man. Well, yeah, dudes, I think that about wraps her on up. I think I showed you guys everything in the room, which is what I wanted to do. If I missed anything, if you saw anything that I didn't talk about that you want me to talk about in a future video, go down below and leave me a comment. But I think I hit everything. All right, I know this video is getting extremely long and you guys have seen pretty much everything. So that is gonna be where we end it today. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Normally, it's all fishing content here, but under the current circumstances, we're doing whatever we can to keep the content flowing from right here at the house. And a lot of people wanted to see the collection, so I'm happy to bring this one to you guys who were wanting to see everything that was going on here in the office. I appreciate you all for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Hope you guys will subscribe, stay tuned for my future content, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.